Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here on this Thursday, Thursday, uh, March, Mar uh, March, April the 25th, 2024. Ooh, I wanted to get on up real quick and put out some, put, put out some uh, information for you to consider and to, um, uh, you know, guard yourself against certain things that are happening. And what do I mean by that? Well, uh, it appears that a lot of people are going to be experiencing certain things in their life that they not be, may not like, may not be prepared for. I put a video out about this a while ago. It's loneliness versus aloneness. And then I said it in the video, aloneness is necessary. Aloneness is necessary. Lonely, loneliness is a consequence, right? Loneliness, in my opinion, is a consequence. So what I've determined a lot through everything that I'm doing, you know, everything that I want to do that, you know, there are going to be certain experiences that a lot of people are not going to be prepared for. And I know that. And all I can do is to the best of my ability is help people. To, to do the best I can to uh, put out information for people to consider and this and that and the other. I know there's a lot of people that really, really, really want some attention. I mean, they would go to all links of the world to get some attention. And um, whew, that's unfortunate, okay, because that, in my opinion, that need for attention is what's going to throw a lot of people into loneliness. You know, it's going to throw people into loneliness. And the reason I say that is because a lot of people are superficial. You know, a lot of people are superficial. And, uh, you know, and superficial is basically shallow. They kind of, they have a shallow personality, possibly. Shallow, let's see. And until you expose superficiality, then you're going to be shallow. <laughs> okay, how about that? Um, it says uh, marked by insufficient. Oh, okay, that's that's something. It's an adjective, apparently. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of people use these words. That's why I say a lot of words. That's why you better pay attention to these words. With all of this energy, and make sure it, it fits your uh, attempts to communicate with people and have discussions and conversations. It says lacking deep, lacking depth of intellect, emotion, or knowledge. That's shallow. That's what they. That's what is. You know, but so many people are using just taking words and putting their own meanings to it, and alone aloneness. Um, is similar to, you know, um, solitude, okay? And then loneliness is, it has here is an, un, it's an unpleasant emotional response to perceived isolation. And, you know, social pain, you know, but anyway. And it has here some of the causes, let's see. Cultural factors, lack of meaningful relationships. They had a significant loss. It's something that's genetic inheritance. And I also said too, that people can be, you know, when, when it comes to loneliness, it doesn't matter if somebody's around them or not, they're gonna be lonely, okay? <laughs> And aloneness, you know, um, l let me be very clear. I enjoy my aloneness because I have so much to do. I have so much reading that I like to do, working on projects and this and that and the other. And I also love to socialize with particular type of people. But I do not do well at all in, in the face of superficiality. I do not, I do not. That's a that's something that I avoid at at all costs, because uh, you know, 
I rather not participate in that that type of behavior. And you know, on the social media platform, has opened that up so much. That's that's the point why I'm bringing it up. Superficiality has, uh, I mean, social media has opened up so many avenues of superficiality, and that is going to result in a lot of people being lonely. Not aloneness, but lonely. Because it's a facade. Superficiality is a facade. You're putting on, you know, you're smiling and, you know, you, you take these pictures. And a lot of people, and that's just, that's, that's the way of the world, um, will perceive. You know, if you throw out all of this stuff to people, you know, all this so-called knowledge you have and all these so-called experiences and these, you know, a lot of people are throwing out quotes <clears throat> which is fine. I love that. Uh, but at some point, like, but you cannot fool your consciousness is my point. Things are much, 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 much deeper than a lot of us are willing to go. But you can't fool your consciousness. And so we're at a culmination in our realities where a lot of things should have been faced and nipped in the bud, uh, Hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, millions of years ago, who knows, by our previous ancestors, whether our previous lineage, our previous cultures. So, and, and, and there were a lot of factors as to why certain things were sort of eliminated from the, uh, you know, from the range of our consciousness. And, but a lot of it has to do with a lot of us just not thinking. And being very lazy with our thinking, being very lazy with our thinking modes, and not, not necessarily, you, know, you know, a lot of people say, well, don't challenge. Well, what, what is challenge? You know, because that comes up a lot that people are challenging. You know, what is challenging or challenge? It's a noun, challenges. Uh, a calling into question, a call to, confront somebody you know it could be uh competition it could be a fight okay all of that so you know so it's just a lot of it's just a lot you know challenging objection protest threat ultimatum blah 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 all right so my point is this um you can't fool your consciousness. And so the quicker you realize that a lot of things are a facade, and a lot of things are superficial and delusional, illusionary, you know, that really don't do not exist, I think you'll be more willing to accept aloneness. And the reason why I say that is a lot of people are going to end up in places where they're going to have to sit there for a while. You know, whether it's something, and most of it is going to be doing because of the uh, the weather. You know, a lot of people are going to be in isolation, forced isolation. Okay, and so there's just there's just a lot of deep, deep, deep things that we just don't know, and I am just touching the surface of it in my in my uh, development. And I know a lot of a lot of us are. We're just touching the surface of what is beautiful about understanding who we are within our innermost being. How beautiful that is to tap into that and know that, regardless of people around or not, you're going to be able to tap into that, and you're going to be fine. Even if you if even if you happen to be isolated on an island, isolated in a building, you know. You'll be, you, and, you know, and, and you know, and you know somebody is doing their thing in their power to, to save you or people are doing everything in their power to guide you and this and that. So there's going to be a lot of um, fluctuation in a lot of people's experiences and a lot of people are going to get exposed. Okay. A lot of people are going to, you know, the veil is going to be, you know, the veil is going to open. You know, there's the collapse is coming. There's a collapse coming, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. And so, the, the, you know, 
Because when you die, you're, you know, whether somebody is around you or holding your hand or not, you're in a sphere of aloneness. You're there alone, you know, with, and with your, your spiritual components, you know, that energy of that. Um, and so there's just going to be a lot of revelation for people, you know, upcoming and forever, actually, because of the, because of the stage of our development, you know, as, um, you know, as, as, as human beings, but we are in a spiritual, we're spiritual ness, we're spiritual ness in these bodies, you know, operating certain experiences and task and you know and we have responsibility and accountability to uh you know walk certain paths you know and have certain experiences so a lot of people are just projecting a lot of uh facades okay that's 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 on you i told you uh you know we all create our you know we are all responsible for how we are experiencing life so if something's coming at me, you know, I caused it to come at me because of cause and effect. You know, I, you know, I'm, I read what I've sown just like anybody else. But, you know, that can be in the positive, not just the negative, too. Um, when it comes to certain events that are in our, you know, that does develop in our lives, yes. In most cases, we are driving. You know, we're at the wheel. You know, but there will always be circumstances that are out of our control, just like anything else because of our population, because of uh, the destruction to our uh, our infra infrastructure all over the country, all over the world, not in just one place, all over. Uh, you know, the climate is the main thing that's going to force people before you had uh, a little bit of a wiggle room, so to speak, to uh, you know, you were you were told about what could ha what could happen if you didn't do this, and a lot of us say, oh yeah, we got time, I got time, I got time, I got time. Everybody keeps saying that and believing that. That's a belief. Okay, so you do not have time for certain accountabilities, responsibilities, tasks. You know, you know what I mean? And so we we need to be able to think a little bit more clearly and effectively about what that means. You know, a lot of people get upset when you, when, you know, when, when someone says, okay, you need to heal, you need to heal. Well, you do. Okay, you do need to heal, but um, you can't pretend either. You know what I mean? You can't be pretending that, okay, you know, I am... I'm now the expert on, you know, on, on what it means to be healing or what it means for this or what it means for that. A lot of people are just getting themselves caught up in that. Let me see. I was looking for something that I thought I wrote down. So, hmm, I'm not sure where it is. But anyway, so, uh, there are going to be a lot of factors, all I'm saying, a lot of factors that are going to be coming into, into our lives as part of development, and we can't get past it with superficiality and pretending and facades. You know, um, a lot of it has to do with how we're thinking, yes, but we have to be realistic, too, about what we're thinking about and not put out facades to people. You know, put out, you know, all these, uh, all of this so-called wisdom you have, you know, and you're still in your 20s or in your 30s. You're developing all of that. I'm developing it as well. Wisdom is something that you may not even recognize that you have it until, you know, maybe on your deathbed, possibly. I mean, it's, it's, it, it requires so much more than, than forcing a lot of people are forcing themselves into certain type of experiences just to say, okay, I experienced it, and not allowing it to just naturally cultivate itself, contemplate itself, and, and you know, and come, come in to you. In other words, uh, you know, I mean, like I said, it's, it's, it's pretending. So 
when it comes to superficiality, again, I do not work very well in those circum that those uh, situations or, or you know, at all. You know, but I know how to properly have conversations and discussions with people to bring. You know, and if I'm talking to someone one on one, I know how to, I know how to push that out of the way. I know how to question people in a certain way to where I get deep. I get deep with them. Mm -hmm. I get really deep, and so my point is this: uh, be comfortable or or not. It's a free will. But understand that some of you are going to be lonely for the rest of your life, whether people are around you or not. Whether you're wearing this nice dress and taking on and taking these beautiful pictures all over super social media, you're visiting all these beautiful countries all all over the world. You you know celebrities, you know sports figures, you know doctors, you know lawyers. You know you have all of this, all of this package packageness of your personality or whoever you are. You know, you have all of that, um, and you, and you're just you you know you you you're just going at it to get some so much attention, you know, and to be um, take you know you want people to take you seriously. Okay, I mean, I don't know. You want people to, you know, give you your flowers. Right, but I think you earn those. You know, a lot of things you have to earn, but it doesn't mean anything more than that. I mean, yes, earn your the qualities and values of your life that 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 suit you, and 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 and, and encourage your development within. Doesn't mean everybody else will, and everybody else doesn't have to either. Uh, all because you have, uh, you know. A doctorate degree, a bachelor. The, uh, you have this many years of this, this many years of that. You know, you 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 wear the best clothing. You know, you, I mean, a lot of it is just, you know, just like we are as material human beings. We're just a a, a jacket, right? This personality that you're just looking into the cell phone and talking to you right now is just a jacket, honey. Okay, but when I lay me down to sleep for the last time, you know, when my time is up to die, but I, like I told you, you don't necessarily die. What you're doing is passing, but we get, we got to just work on our language and we need to be able to fluctuate in such a way to where we understand completely what's happening and we're not in a trance and we're just, you know, working on cue, you know, okay. Lights, camera, action, and everybody's smiling, oh, you know, talking about how wonderful their lives are when they know that's a bunch of lies there. I know some people personally, and I don't say anything where, where I know they're living in garbage and filth, but they know how to, they know how to show up on camera, though, or they, they know how to show up at parties, they know how to show up at events, and you think these, you know, you know they know how. Like um, I knew I knew I knew someone personally, and I said this a while ago. And this person said this exactly to me. They said, um, "I know how to put on a face, or put on a persona, where everybody will think. You know, where everyone will have a perception of." You know that I'm successful more, more so. You know, I mean, this person knows how to put on the face. They're an entertainer. They're a performer. You know, a lot of people get themselves trapped in that, though. You know, Hollywood does. Okay, let's just make that clear and effective. That's an example. A lot of those human beings over there in Hollywood are perfect at performing and, and, and acting on cue. You snap their, you know, can drop, I mean, cry at the drop of a dime. I mean, they're experienced and trained in that. Okay, but a lot of them suffer loneliness too. A lot of them. Depression. Okay. Superficiality. They're superficial. You go to their parties, you know, everybody's smiling. <laughs> yeah. And they can do that all damn day, all during the party. You know, with they, they little glasses of whatever they're drinking, you know, they can. Because they want to make sure when the camera 
captures them. You know, they're... <laughs> it's comical to me. I don't operate very well in those circles at all. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. You know, so... So we... I, we, and us have to work on what's going on inside of us. If not, you know, you're not going to be able to withstand the upcoming events in our lives. You're not. So go deep into your innermost being. No one has to know that. When you say that you're lonely, you need to be very honest, brutally honest. With what am I lonely about? Because if you're lonely, you cause yourself to be lonely and it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't matter who's there. It doesn't matter who's around. Aloneness, aloneness can be very different. I love my aloneness. But I can be in my aloneness whether somebody's around me or not too. I know how to go into the depths of myself and find joy and enthusiasm. And, you know, and, and be very, very happy. I mean, just to be, be able to do what I'm doing. To live. You know, I have the free will to, to, to think. I love it. But I, uh, I just sense a, uh, uh, a freight train coming forward for a lot of people. And they're not prepared for the damage of what is coming forward, whether it's literally, figuratively, or metaphorically. They're not prepared at all. Um, and it's, it's, it's going to be devastating for them because they they they're not they're not willing to go deep for some reason they were they rather just put on this facade get on facebook get on instagram get on the, one of these social media platforms and just 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 i don't know perform basically you know hey um i, I just wish that some but a lot of them are not a lot of them grew up on social media you know, I did not, thankfully. You know, those of us that, like I said, that were born in the 70s, 60s, 50s, you know, we didn't have social media. <laughs> and thankfully, you know, we, thankfully we were, we were there, as they say, when all of this technology started to, 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 to reveal itself, to be born, whatever the words you want to use. So it helped us, you know, a lot of us, some of us, some of us that are having these kind of revelations about loneliness right now, again, um, you were going to be lonely, you know, because you were going to be lonely regardless if you didn't go deep within yourself. So if you, if you, if you always are putting on a facade, and you know, I'm, I'm not, don't be offensive when I say that, when a lot of people put on makeup, you know. But I don't wear makeup, you know. I remember when uh, I was growing up, you know, because I'm tomboyish. I already said that. And, um, um, and I can remember um, because everybody thought, oh, everybody thought I was, uh, I could be a model because I was tall, you know, 5'8". You know, I, I mean, that's not tall anymore when, like I said, my, some of my nieces and nephews are almost six feet and they're still teenagers. So there's a difference in all of that. But anyway... Um, I, I, I can remember f feeling like a clown with makeup on, but I, I wore it because, you know, you know, people like my mom would say, wear it, you know, and, you know, I had to listen to her or whatever. So there's just a lot of revelations coming forward for a lot of people and it's going to affect the people that are so-called, um, you know, in these fears of wanting to be leaders, you know, wanting to be more than, more than, I mean, you want to, you just want to be in, in the mix of everything. And you, and you know, and, and, and you can tell that, um, some of a lot of them are going to just crash and burn because they were working they were working so much on the 
external part of themselves and they didn't deal with the in internal. You know, they have imp uh, impressive worth, I mean, work experience, impressive um, educational experience, impressive resumes. You know, they have the whole, you know, everything that, you know, that money can buy, I guess. But though they're the ones suffering the most, though, in my opinion, and that's just my theories and opinions. They're the most loneliest people in the world. But yet they can come on Facebook, I mean, come on the social media platform, and you wouldn't recognize that at all. <laughs> you wouldn't recognize that at all. Because they've done it for decades upon decades where they can, like I said, I mean, <laughs> shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> um... And they're not necessarily laughing. You know, eh? you could tell when somebody's actually laughing and really enjoying themselves and very enthusiastic about everything. They're not superficiality. So pay attention to that. See if you can pick that up in people, their superficiality. And then see if don't 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 you don't need to challenge them on it. These are these are things that no one needs to know you're doing that. Just like contradictions. I told you a while back. Just see if you can pick it up. And see where that falls within you, and how you can work on, you know, uh, eliminating a lot of this superficiality, this pretending, these facades, so that everybody can calm down, hopefully, and not attempt to be competing with you, competing against illusions that do not exist, competing against this or that and the other. And I want to clarify something too before I go. And this is very, 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 very important. Very important. Uh, a lot of people, again, like I said, with this facade and pretending and lying and deceiving you about their skills and abilities and what they can and cannot do. They're lying about their backgrounds. They're lying about not having food on the table. You know, all this and that and the other. They're lying about how they were, their upbringing, you know, had, how they had to pull themselves up by their boot straps and all this lying and stuff. The, and I'm talking about people that are in the public eye constantly talking about that, you know, about how they were sexually abused, physically abused, and all this stuff. And a lot of them are lying and, and, and deceiving us. But they're okay with that because of the benefits it brings them. It brings them, you know, some attention. It brings them income, sadly. And their income, they need the income. But a lot of people are going to be collapsing on their materialism. A lot of people. I mean, it's going to collapse. And it starts from the top down, usually, based on the structure. That's why when you are attempting to evolve yourself, you need to make sure it's a vertical, a vertical climb. I mean, a horizontal climb, vertically. You know, it's a horizontal, horizontal vertically. So let me clarify, clarify something based on what we have been taught. If you're hearing thoughts in your head that are not from your voice, okay, that is something that needs to be resolved ASAP. The only voices you ought to be hearing in your own brain and your own mind are yours. Now, if you hear something outside of your physical, okay, it could be people talking outside. It could be your wife talking to you your husband talking to you, your kids. Now, that's different. That's different external hearing of that. But I'm saying, if you're hearing any other voices in your head other than your own, then that's a problem. So if someone says to you, well, God said something to me, okay, that's a problem. That's no different than me saying, well, my brother said something to me and my brother hadn't said a goddamn thing to me. <laughs> you know, my brother's not here. Okay, someone says to you, well, God is spoke, has spoken to me and told, okay, these so-called mediums, you need to just be a little bit more discerning of that. I made the mistake a while back saying that I was um, highly sensory. Okay, that... To, okay, that's bullshit. Let me just say that's bullshit because the only reason why I want to say it's bullshit because then it becomes competition for someone else to believe something, even uh, believe that they are too, but yet they want to compete with people saying that to make them seem more 
powerful and better. That's what we do. Pay attention to that as well. How everybody is competing with each other and they think they're doing it silently. But energy doesn't lie. You know, energy doesn't lie. So I just want you to protect yourself because dealing with someone that's talking that way is extremely dangerous. Someone already, I mean, you anyone talking that way are on the verge of uh, a mental collapse because you're, you're, you're attempting to lie to your your consciousness about someone saying something to you or someone saying something in your mind. Any psychiatrist and any psychologist that work in these fields, you know, they know how dangerous it is when people say they're hearing voices. They know that. And some people have to be medicated because of that. So when someone, like I said, when someone is coming forward and they're intentionally being deceptive about that, that's, those are the ones that are uh, teetering on, on destruction, consciousness destruction. And all they're doing that is to uh, get some attention, you know, make some income, you know, make a lot of income. You know, a lot of people are getting rich off of that. You know, like I said, reading palms. I hate to throw my palm up quick like that, but people are, people will uh, uh, cling to you, parasites and leeches. Let me see your palms, you know, <laughs> becoming so delusional and 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 and, uh, and causing people to feel unsafe in their own skin, dealing with that. So pay attention to that. No one has to know. Pay attention to how people are talking to you. See if you can pick up some superficiality. Sometimes with me, you know, you you. You know, I, I mean, I'm just as awkward as anyone else in certain in certain um, settings or certain um, spaces with people because you know I uh, you know I like to you know I like to make sure I'm safe or in the environments I'm in. You know, so I don't usually walk into places and, you know smiling and shit like that. I don't do that. I'm friendly, of course. People will tell you I'm friendly. Uh, I don't have any issues. I, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to say this with confidence. I don't have any issues dealing with all walks of life. None. I have no issues with dealing with all walks of education. No all walks of... I don't have no issues with that. But I do get a little um, concerned about groups, settings, walking into groups and, and, you know, and, and, you know, I just, not, I, I need to make sure my, I am personally safe. And if I'm with someone, they're personally safe as well. You know, so that's, that's my awkwardness. You know, that's my weirdness that I love about myself, you know, because what, I mean, that's, 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 that's how I developed, you know, certain things, certain environments, certain situations, you develop yourself, but you have to love it. So my point is this. Let me just go ahead and close this out. Some people are going to be extreme, uh, feeling extreme loneliness, whether people are around them or not. And I say work on the superficialities. Maybe that's that's the cause of it. Maybe you, you're pretending too much. Maybe you are, you know, have, uh, have built up this facade that you need to kind of, you know, tear it, tear it down, piece, you know, tear down some pieces of that and find out what's really going on inside of you. And those of, uh, those of us like myself and others who enjoy our aloneness, you know, whether someone's here or not, you know, I enjoy my, I enjoy my own company. How about that? So I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Be kind and gentle with yourself. Just, just go deeper into your realities. Go deep into your innermost being and, and ask yourself, okay, who am I? And then... Make sure that does uh, resonate with who you really are, you know. So, okay. Peace and love. Trust me. I'll be back. <laughs>